Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part five of working with Booleans in the Operators and Methods unit. So the next operator that we're going to discuss is the equal to or triple equals operator. And it's another binary operator that's going to allow us, allow us to compare two scalar values directly. So undefined Booleans, numbers, and strings so far. Uh, in the case of undefined, so we have variable declared, which is gonna mean that this variable is undefined because we declared it, but we didn't define it. And we'll get rid of the previous work. So we're then going to assign undefined match to be equal to a comparison between declared, our undefined variable, triple equals undefined. So if we console.log the result of this, it's gonna take its sweet time doing it. And we'll get true because declared is triple equals undefined. Now, there's also something called double equals. We are not gonna worry about double equals. In general, just always use triple equals and you'll be in good shape for now. So that was undefined. Now let's talk about a case with Booleans. So for this one, we're going to uh, describe two situations. One is that it's raining or it's not. The other one is the weatherman predicted, or the weather predicted rain is either true or false. And so the weatherman was right is gonna be equal to whether or not is raining is equal to weather predicted rain. So uh, in the case where it's raining and the weather predicted rain, then the weatherman was right, meaning weatherman was right has been assigned to true. Now, if it's not raining, but the weather predicted rain, then the weatherman is not right. So weatherman was right is gonna be equal to false. If the weather is not raining and the weather did not predict rain, meaning weather predicted rain is equal to false, then the weatherman was still right because it's not raining and he said it wasn't going to. Maybe I should call this weather person. I feel like there's a lot of weather women. Anyway. Uh, is raining is equal to false, weather predicted rain, I think that we did, what do we do? Hitting command Z we can go backwards, so command Y does the history. Anyway, so is raining is equal to true, so we changed is raining equal to false and this one to false, so let's say that it is raining but the weather person did not say that it was true. So we're going to have a comparison between true and false, true is not equal to false so we get false as a result. Um, there's a little bit of overlap with Booleans and or and equals, um, but it's not purposeful and you don't want to count on that. So uh, let's talk about some numbers. So we could have a couple of counts. One is the count that we got. One is the count that we expected. So our expectations met is going to be set to an expression that compares those two counts. If they are not the same, then our expectations met is going to be equal to false. If they are the same, then expectations met is going to be equal to true. Okay, and in the case of strings, uh, let's just consider that there are two strings. One is the current string, one is the next string. In this case, they are both equal. So when we compare them, strings match variable is gonna be equal to true. If we stick some extra stuff in one of them, we now do not have two equivalent strings. So a comparison between them, the expression is going to yield false. Now that we have all of that, let's jump into a coding challenge. We're gonna complete a function that takes in two scalar Boolean number or string parameters. Your function should create a variable and assign it to the result of comparing the two input parameters using the triple equals operator, then return that variable. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the function are equal. I'm gonna copy what's in here, the function stub, paste it in, I'm gonna grab my two test cases just to make sure that it's working in at least two versions. Create a result variable, so variable result, is equal to, and then I want to assign it to a comparison between param1 using equal to operator param2. And then we're going to return the result variable. So in this case, happiness and happiness are both equal, so this should be true. Output false, r equals zero and false should be false. So we're going to run this and we're going to take one more second here after we get the correct answers and we're going to talk about why double equals and what truthy and falsy values are. So if we were to use double equals here, we're gonna notice something. We're gonna see that the second one is equal to true. Now the reason that it's equal to true is because zero is a falsy value. Essentially it yields false when encountered in a Boolean situation and double equals is a way for us to kind of guess a little bit. It's essentially saying like, hey, uh, I think those two are pretty much equal. Another version of this would be something like two and a string version of two. 
Now if we compare these using double equals, as we're doing here, which I don't recommend, but we're just demonstrating, we're going to get true for that as well. Because JavaScript's like, hey, you said the number two and the string two, I'm pretty sure you meant those to be equal. But if we use triple equals, as we should, two and string two have different types and are going to return false. So let's return back to the original we had, which was zero and false. Zero and false are both falsy, but since they are not the same type and the same value, they're going to return false when we compare them using triple equals. Just a quick note, something that we are not going to be testing you on explicitly for now, but you want to keep that in the back of your mind, that there is something called truthy and falsy, and that it does have applications that we can avoid if we use triple equals. If we jump down here, we're going to paste in the answer that we came up with, we're going to run the tests, and the shape that we are in is acceptable. So, thanks for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.